And we have a few high clouds out there. Because of that, it always brings us this really pretty sunrise. Those pink clouds in the morning, actually, my daughter took this and she sent it to me. And we love those early morning sunrises. If you've got to get up early and you get a good picture, I guess it's okay. The top of Collins right now, obviously, we've got the snow up at Alta and we're looking out toward the valley. And we do have just those high clouds. Now, we're not going to see any precipitation out of those clouds. We're just going to see a tiny bit of cooling today compared to yesterday. We're seeing a little haze with the sun, but overall, it's a really not bad day. Temperatures are still going to be running above normal. Average this time of the year should be 65, so we're still at 74. Obviously a long way from that record that was set back in 1958. Temperatures are running warmer. In fact, quite a bit warmer around Delta, uh, down through Milford. Yesterday, actually get this, Cedar City had a record high yesterday of 82 degrees. So it was definitely a warm one in locations. Now that is hot. I know folks that live down through Arizona, they look forward to fall because they do get the cool down. So that was hot stuff there. 90 in Vegas, it was 76 in Los Angeles. They've actually got heat advisories coming into play because there's a ridge of high pressure that's gonna build in for the end of the week and it's gonna be extremely warm. So we have just these very high clouds that are coming through the state. And again, most of us, or at least as, except for maybe the deep south, will see some of these clouds coming in. The warm stuff to our south with that ridge of high pressure. We've got a few clouds coming in to the northwest. But that big area of high pressure is going to keep us dry all the way through the state. We're going to have dry conditions, moisture staying off to the north and west. Now, I want to show you this picture because... Notice how these clouds are kind of moving up to the north and east and they continue to push to the north. This is a ridge of high pressure right here where we have the clear skies. This is a very big digging storm system and that digging source system will gather strength and that will impact us starting late Sunday through next week. But until then, this high holds on and we are talking about very warm conditions until here we go, late Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That is when the precipitation will come on through. So we've got the high pressure through the west. That will be through Saturday. And then comes late Sunday into Monday, we're going to look at that storm system that's going to move on in. So for fall break, it's going to be beautiful. No matter where you're going in the state, temperatures are going to be gorgeous. Thursday, Friday will be the warmest readings. I've kind of taken an average high for Bryce, Zion, Bullfrog, but the clouds will start to increase later on Sunday, and then we'll see the big changes coming in as that cool, cool air moves into the picture. This is for next week. We are actually going to be below normal temperature wise. Today it's going to be beautiful. 74 degrees, temperatures above normal with those high clouds. Those high clouds will be about the northern third of the state. Temperatures very, very warm. 87 today in St. George, 49 tonight, mostly clear once that front moves on through. And then temperatures cool down maybe a degree or two tomorrow once the front goes through, really not impacting southern Utah. Not until Monday will the showers come in. And this next storm system as it drops in, we'll have to to wait and see how it comes together but it will be showers coming in later Sunday that's going to be a question mark how fast that low moves in and then Monday will be a rain day notice though that temperatures go from the upper 70s to about 60 on Monday afternoon